Good evening, friends, Romans, and countrymen, and welcome to the Lend Me Your Jeers Comedy Forum. Our special guest tonight has just returned from a tour of the eastern provinces, where he didn't just slay them, he crucified them. Here he is, the man who bravely battled collies in the Colosseum, Pontius Punchlinus. Howdy, folks! Hey, please, hold your applause. I gotta get right into my act, you see. My chariot's double parked. When Julius Caesar went to Zella, he wrote home to the Senate. I came, I saw, I conquered. To celebrate, the Senate ordered a tax collection. I went, I paid, I came home flat broke. While I'm there, I asked the tax collector, what's this tax for anyway? He says, to give thanks for the victory, they've got to build a temple to Mars the god of war. The way I see it, it's his fault we had to fight in the first place. You know where Mars comes from, right? True story. Juno, patron goddess of Rome, is hanging out with the goddess Flora. Flora plucks some magic flower with a thumb. This really happened. Touches the flower to Juno's belly, and presto, Mars is conceived. A woman's belly gets slightly grazed by a flower, and war is born. And I thought I had allergies. Good thing they didn't uh, rub her with ragweed or we'd never get any sleep at night. Now, I'm not saying it would have been better if Mars had never been born, but maybe they could have tried the hemlock. Uh, people say that joke's a blaspheme against Mars. What's he gonna do? Throw a spear down from the sky at me? Oh, ah, okay, I kid, I kid. Listen, to honor Mars, for all the victories, and for all the defeats, I'd like to make a toast. But I can't, because we haven't invented the toaster yet. Hey, hey, we have a celebrity in the audience tonight. Hey, Ben-Hur, looking good, all oiled up as usual. Uh, Ben-Hur, big winner at the Circus Maximus. But here, the wait staff call him Tippus Minimus. Seriously, if you're looking for a tip out of him, you're gonna have to take it from his cold, dead hands. Take care of your weight staff tonight, folks. And remember, we have a tool vomit minimum, so keep those orders coming. Did you see the latest news engravings? You've been following this guy, Jesus, out in Judea? They say Jesus ran into this guy who's possessed by demons. Jesus, he casts the demons out of the guy, sends them into a herd of pigs, sends the pigs over a cliff. Now, I don't know about you, I would have sent them into the barbecue pit. They say he knows how to turn water into wine. Somebody show him how to turn pork into dinner. You've heard about his apostles. He's got these 12 followers and his Twitter feed is even worse. But seriously, they say he draws a good crowd. So much so that one time they get stuck out in the middle of nowhere with nothing to eat. They forgot to order catering. Jesus says, no problem. Just bring me five loaves of bread and two fishes. He tells the 5,000 people there, okay, line up. They line up, zoom, 5,000 long. Jesus, he starts going down the line, says, would you like fish or loaf? Both, please. Fish or loaf? Both, please. And so on down the line, fish or loaf? Both, please. He gets down to the end, 5,000th person in line. Asks him, would you like fish or loaf? Oh, I'll just have the loaf, he says. Jesus says, okay, but why didn't you ask for the fish? The guy says, well, I don't want to be greedy. I mean, I saw you only have two of them. That's all my time, folks. I can hear Nero fiddling. As Cleopatra said to Octavian, time to snake out of here.